We're back. What's up? Finally. Concept Something 10. Made it two months without recording a single podcast. There we go. <laughs> Consistency. We love it. You love to see it. We haven't recorded one in 2020 yet, have we? No, nope. this is the first one. <laughs> yeah, this is the first one we've recorded this year to date, and it's almost March. Just Great. to clarify. That's all I like to see. Also, uh, it took us six months to put out ten episodes. <laughs> yeah, since we were literally talking right before this. How long did it take us to get to this point with episode ten? And we realized Too we started long. recording this in August. We are not consistent at all. We are hoping to do one a week, and that is not the case. We're like one every two to three weeks we're recording. But hopefully we'll end up getting more time once my graduation hits, and then... Especially in the summer, too. We'll have a lot more time. Oh, in the summer, we'll have... Every week, we can crank out these podcasts. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. But, like, right right now, it's like... isn't It's it's Girl, St- Girl Scout cookie season. Oh, oh, those Girl Scout cookies. Mm. Yeah, they know how to butter my roll. They know how to... Get your money. Lots they know of money. how to butter me up, bro. Like, I see Girl Scout cookies. Like, just... It's outside of, like, Meyer or Walmart, but, oh. dude, I always, okay, I hate, I hate when people, like, are outside the store and they're like, hey, you want to buy this stuff? I always feel bad. I remember th- there was Boy Scouts on popcorn once, and I felt bad saying no, but I'm like, I am broke and don't have the money, I'm sorry. Yeah. Popcorns, What's- but cookies are really cheap for, like, what, $3 you can get a box? Like it, cookies in the store? No, the Girl Scout cookies. No, they're not three bucks a box, dude. They're Did like they eight. go up? Yeah, they're like eight bucks a box. Bro, probably. I remember when they were three bucks. When my sister used to sell them when she was young. Fuck. Dude, your sister's old. Your sister's 25. She's older than me. <laughs> when she was in college, that was like 10, 15, 15 years, years ago. In, <laughs> inflation for Girl Scout cookies. That's how you know. Yeah. But my favorite Girl Scout cookie, I don't know about you. But I love me the tagalongs. Yeah, no. the red box ones. It's like have the peanut butter wafers, like the wafers. Peanut are, butter with the chocolate in the wafer, Ooh. and it just over. It covers is the that, wafer. Is, that a, is, that a, is that a wafer? It's a wafer in there, right? So what's, the crisp, what defines a, a wafer? The crispy thing, because consider- it's perfectly crispy. It's not soft at all. So like inside the chocolate, it's perfectly crispy. Well, I would consider a wafer more of like a. Uh, I don't, when I think of wafer, I think of like, uh, like a waffle cone kind of. A waffle cone. That's not a wafer. The waffle cone's a waffle cone. A wafer's well, no, a wafer. Well, no, like, like the flat version like, of that, right? You know, like vanilla wafers? Crunchy. You know, like the vanilla wafer things. It's like that. I think I'm just getting the waffle pattern from those. <laughs> yeah. You just have waffles stuck in your mind whenever time I say wafer. Someone says wafer, I'm like, do you mean waffle? waffle? <laughs> <laughs> can I please you? get a waffle? Dude, you got that sticker on your laptop. I do have a kind of please get a waffle sticker on my laptop. Side note. All right, but for real, though. Thin Mints? Mm. Overrated. No. I'm okay, I will say Thin Mints are overrated, but they're also really good. They are good. But the one thing I don't like about them is you take a bite into them and the center just crumbles apart. You need to know how to bite them. Mat. Bro, I'm just taking a bite and then you just get you that know shit you do? everywhere. Deep throat that bitch. Full well, mouth I'm... it. You literally put the full cookie in your mouth. So you don't have to worry about it. It's Swall- like don't even don't even chew it. Swallow it whole. That's the best Dude, flavor you'll ever yeah. have. The thin mints, like the mintiness flavor of thin mints, gives me like an orgasm in my mouth. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> How do you? Uh, what about like York peppermint patties? The, no, so is that th- too th- minty? that's too minty. Yeah. Too minty. Like those, like especially put a hole in your mouth. Oh fuck that! You're just you put a hole. What, where, how are you eating those? I put a lot of full things in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> besides the point. Yo, yeah, Oreos, no. <laughs> Oreo cookies, full cookie. No, but dude, if you eat like thin a mints, full... full Thin Mints. If you eat a full... Dude, full Reishis Oreo? Reese's cups? Full Reese's cups. Reese's? There's no S-H. Reese's. Reese's. Shut the fuck up. Reese's. Reese's. Reese's puff. Reese's puff. <laughs> Peanut butter <laughs> chocolate flavor. <laughs> but no, uh, Kit Kats, full bar in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but you put it in sideways too. <laughs> so you got so you get in your mouth you gotta break it in half with your tongue banana full banana in the mouth swallow it whole don't even chew that thing but you gotta wait for it to be super brown too 
so that it's like soft enough to where you're not choking. <laughs> yeah, Fuck that. this is nasty. But yeah, yeah, dude, life's been uh, life's been going. Life, life what has been it? something else. I've been busy, Very. which is why it's taking us pretty much three months to record. A, no, not two months to record a podcast. Life's been so busy for us. Dude, I was supposed to go on a study <laughs> abroad. Like, we're recording this right now, uh, February 29th, right? Whoa. Saturday. Oh, hey, it's Weep Day. It's, oh, shit. Today's a it's... fake day. That doesn't actually count for anything. Wait, is it? No. Sh- oh, it's leap year, boys. This this podcast isn't real. We're not actually recording it. It's a simulation. But no, I, uh, this Friday, it's March 6th, and I was supposed to be going on a Study abroad to fucking Italy. Oh, what's her name? I'm going to fuck Italy, bro. Yeah, she's she's a blonde. She's great. Exotic, I guess. I know, right? But no, I was supposed to go to Italy. And they just, yesterday, they fucking canceled it on us. Saying, yeah, the coronavirus is getting too bad in Italy right now. I mean, they do have like 1,200 cases. But That's not serious. We're supposed to go to Rome, and I wanted to study some architecture there. And there's no one in Rome who has it. I'm just saying, we could have been fine, but the CDC decided to put a level 3 threat on the city and fucking just cock block me, and I am pissed. Just putting it out there. I'm just saying, I am pissed. Dude, just go just go full, like, gas mask, hazmat suit, Dude, and have a ball out there. <laughs> I can just picture myself just going to the airport, full hazmat suit, and they're like, sir, uh, you can't wear that in. It's like, yeah, oh, sorry, I have to take off my watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing they say. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, the rest of you is fine, but, you, you have know. to take off your watch. Yeah. Hey, make sure, make sure you don't have a belt on, too, either. Hey, your shoes, take them off. Well, I, I, I was just thinking, like, we really haven't talked much about coronavirus, but it's because we haven't recorded a podcast during yes. this time. And we recorded the one skit video, the 30-second video of how – how coronavirus spreads the United States. That's what it was. <laughs> Literally a video I thought of that morning, and then we went and bought stuff in like two hours, and we recorded it fast. <laughs> N- not to mention, before the coronavirus actually blew up. But you know what? The positive thing that can come out of the coronavirus, hopefully our school gets canceled. Just putting it out oh, there. Oh, I was going to say population control. D- okay. Okay. Side topic, our world is overpopulated. We do need kind of a thinning. Sounds kind of bad, but we do need population thinning. Dude, Rain Wilson, who plays Dwight in The Office, if you don't know, he said it correctly. There's too many people here. We need a new plague. Straight up. He said that a while ago, right? Yeah. Was that in The Office? Yeah, it was in The Office. But it's true. There's, there's I mean, that is people. very true. Sometimes you gotta hit the places that are most populated. Hit the reset Thin the herd. Yo, China's fucked though right now. Survival of the fit, dude. They built a hospital in ten days. Oh yeah, so I was very impressed by that. <laughs> like, how does what? I'm, I feel like it's because they took all the construction workers from every project and put them. Hey, you're just gonna build this hospital for us in ten days, which is still. I mean, at first they said five days, which I was very skeptical. I was a skeptic about that. Like, who the hell can build a hospital in five days when you have to do everything? Like. Lay the cement, let that dry. But no, 10 days, that's still respectable. Well, I, I think a lot of it was just them kind of leveling the land because if you looked at the actual design of it and when they were building it, it was all modular. So all the things were prefabricated. Prefabri- so it was, it was more so just getting everything laid out and then putting each module in. And then they still had to run like wiring and plumbing and stuff for it. So that's kind of how they did it. But I love people on Twitter and they're like, China can build a hospital in 10 days, but they can't fix my one mile stretch of road <laughs> for 22 years or something. And it's like, it's because they put everyone on it. Like, yeah. Basically, the whole industry there is shut down. So do you want the whole industry to shut down here just so they can build your fucking road? Yeah. No. It's like, I'm sorry, but your your road is not a priority. Well, obviously, but, like, still. Hospitals are priority. Yeah. But there was also a, um, I think it was on Twitter. 
Twitter or Reddit that I saw, and it was a picture of, I don't know if it was a sinkhole or something like that. I'm assuming it had to be a sinkhole. That happened in China or Japan, and I think it was like 30 feet wide, about like 30 feet deep. Mm. And they filled it in and repaved the road and got all the piping and everything fixed out within, I think, like 48 hours. Fuck, what did they fill it with? People. <laughs> <laughs> dead people. I I see dead people. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Just saw the Sonic movie. That was. Oh my god. Yeah. It how was it? It wasn't that bad, honestly. A Sonic movie. Yeah. Well, how did you go from dead people to Sonic? That is the real question. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> ask you like, I don't know if you've seen any movies. Like, oh, or anything. okay. I I got you. What movie they... quote to the new movie you just watched. Basically. But yeah. They make Jim Carrey out to be very, very unlikable. Cause he's like he's obviously the bad guy, but like they they make you hate him. Not Jim Carrey. And it's kind of funny. Hey, hey you someone. hear that? I'm building a campfire right now. We are definitely outside building a campfire. You are right. There is we're, snow on the ground, and we are building a we're campfire. We're outside in, like, 13-degree weather, slaving in the cold just for you. Just for you, Thomas. This is for you. Hey, Thomas, if you're listening to this right now, send me a snap. And <laughs> say, hey, p- pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> say pork chop sandwiches. Struggle through that. <laughs> I didn't think of something random for him to say that would... Makes well, it's, it's got to be a P, and then dash, and then pork chop sandwiches. P- pork chop sandwiches. All right, yeah, but if you're looking for a good video to watch, just uh, just go on YouTube and type in pork chop sandwiches. It's the dumbest fucking video. Don't watch it. It's really dumb, but it's so funny. It gets me every time. Honestly, you're watching this, so you're probably like dumb shit. So. <laughs> hey, don't <laughs> discourage them from watching dumb shit. Oh, they know this is subpar shit, right? Well, uh, you yeah. guys know this is subpar shit. Well, it's the whole name is like bottom shelf, so like this stuff is like garbage, kind of. And we don't know what we're talking about every week, so it's always concept something. Yeah. You never know what you're doing. Get that's what this good podcast is about, bro. Good's a word. This podcast is about podcast <laughs> is a word too. <laughs> oh yeah, so we put out uh the power hour too. The holy shit, the, the power new hours. One. The power hours are actually killing it right now. People like them. Yeah, I don't like. Which is cool. I don't know if any of the people who watch the power power hours are actually watching this right now. I doubt it. But respect to y'all because I know at least like ten people have subbed to our YouTube channel just because of those power hours. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we broke a hundred too. We, yeah, we cool. broke a hundred subs. I can't even count to a hundred, so that's something. Yo, I can't even count to fucking three, dude. <laughs> I don't remember what episode we're on for this podcast. That's why I'm the one who says the numbers. <laughs> we're going to get to 100, and then I'm not going to know what's after that. But no, as of this recording, our 80s Power Hour has 10.5K views, and the 2010 to 15 Power Hour has 1.5K views. Whew. So we making moves. We make the money moves. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is... This is two weeks ago. We were in Chicago for a leadership event. And we were sleeping three guys to a bed. <laughs> and we made Ryan out here sleep in the middle. It was the fucking worst. It was hilarious. Don't sleep in the middle when you're in a tween. It wasn't even a tween bed. It was like double bed. It was like a twin or whatever. No, that was not a twin, dude. No, you're right. That's not that a was, No, that was double. No, had to be, no, it was a queen. Was it a queen? I don't it know. It had to be. Three people to a queen? Tight. No, it doesn't work. I woke up woke up Sunday morning with the worst cramp in my calf <laughs> I have ever had. I couldn't walk for like 15 minutes. Dude, tell me about it. Okay, the first night, we all <laughs> we, <laughs> dude, we all slept in the bed with our heads all at the one end, right? That's like that was the dumbest thing. We're basically spooning each other. Just Three guys just well, spooning each that's other. That's just you deciding who you want to spoon. Yeah, with. basically, when I'm stuck in the middle, I have to decide who am I gonna be the bid spoon to? Because I'm looking at someone and I'm spooning someone, so I'm in the middle. I was really, really hoping that he was gonna choose me, but I, I didn't spoon I anyone. I just me. laid on my face. <laughs> <You're just true. laughs> I'm like, I, I was so awkward. I just laid on my face, and I'm like, the second night, 
I'm like, I got no sleep the night before, so I was so uncomfortable. So I slept, like, head to toes. So I, my feet were by the other two guys' head. And I ended up waking up with my, like, upper shoulders and head just off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was just dangling that whole night. I was just hoping <laughs> that you would, like, you would wake up or turn or something like that and start cuddling with my feet. Cuddling <laughs> their feet? Nah, dude. I was thinking that'd be hilarious. I, my head was just <laughs> off dangling. All the blood was in my head, and I was just so lightheaded, and it was so uncomfortable. I don't know how I fell asleep. It's pr- probably because we were at the bars before, and that really helped. <laughs> but the New or the Chicago bar scene, I mean, we only went to the one bar just to get pizza, and yeah. that was it. That was still fun. It was fun. They gave us a free, uh... Ooh, a free pitcher of beer. Yeah, that's always accepted. they messed up. That was nice. Yeah, we'll always appreciate Shout that. Shout out to those people if you're listening right now. Who gave us free beer? Can't what was the name? Pizillos. Yo, please sponsor Pizanos. us. Pizanos, yeah. Pizanos, give us a sponsor. Shout out to them. They gave us free beer and their pizza was good as fuck. I think it would be a good idea to go do like prank a prank video where you pretend you have coronavirus and you just go around coughing on people. Okay. So that's you to go back to when I was supposed to go to the study abroad, right? I was planning on doing something along those lines is when I go into the airport or get in the airplane, I just start coughing profusely, like, like fake <laughs> coughing, but like I'm dying. And like, I start pouring water on my face when no one notices. I pretend like I'm sweating and basically create a panic. I mean, I guess that's illegal if you look at it because you're creating a false panic, but it'd be really funny. I'm just saying, like pretending like in a crowded space. Just like start dying coughing. Yes. Or if you want to get the coronavirus, just start licking every single doorknob and handle you can. Did you actually know? Okay. (laughs) That someone in China, like there's videos of her, she started licking doorknobs in everything like she could because apparently she had the coronavirus and she was trying to like get everyone sick. Like, the that's, dumbest thing ever. So, so apparently, she got captured by authorities, and no one knows what's happened to her. <laughs> they, guaranteed they fucking popped She's the cap gone. in her ass. Like, that's what you get, bitch, <laughs> yeah. for trying to get everyone sick. What are you looking up right now, Nathan? I'm looking up Australia fires. Was that during this time? That's true. That was 20— it's, it's happened. Yo, it's tw- been going on. The year 2020 is only two months in, and it's been— a living hell. It's been something. I kind of feel bad for Australia, not gonna lie, though. Dude, but they're... Wait. Oh, yeah, I don't think they have corona yet. No, they do. Dude, oh. 56 countries have coronavirus. For the, Australia's on it's fire. Antarctica. Oh, they can't catch on fire there. Well, well, yeah, they can't catch on fire, and I doubt... No, we're moving to are... Greenland. If I've learned anything, Nathan. Oh, from Plague Inc.? From yeah. Plague Inc.? If I've learned anything. Greenland is a bitch to infect. Impossible almost. Okay. I've done the research. Like, no joke. I've done the research with, like, you know how you play Plague Inc. And, like, every day you get more and more infected? Yeah. By the two-month period, there's normally only, like, 200 people infected. And we're already at, like, 80,000, dude. Dude, this is worse than Plague Inc. In Plague Inc., I kill off everyone. So by those <laughs> standards, we're all gonna fucking die. Dude, it looks like we can't go outside anymore. Dude, we don't go outside anyways. Well, that's true. Like, damn. Well, we're outside right now. What else has happened in 2020? So coronavirus, we got the wildfires in Australia. <laughs> They're on fire there. I'm looking at Reddit right now. I see this video of Chinese swimmer Sun Yang... <laughs> and he says, after winning, I don't think it's an Olympic medal. After winning, after some winning, sort of after winning, yeah. Oh, was it the final world championship in China or something like that for swimming? He says, "You're a loser. I'm a winner." To the people who got second and third, he just got an eight-year ban for doping. Really? Which is, yeah. <laughs> which is great. Karma's a bitch. It is. I love when stuff like this comes back and just bites him in the ass. When you're just such a poor sportsman. Yeah. I'm happy. It's always the I'm best. Actually, I'm, like, this is the first time I've heard about this. I'm kind of happy. You're a loser, <laughs> and I'm a winner? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so fucking dumb, dude. 
Oh, yeah. This water hits different. There's a chance that he might disappear, too. For doping? Yo. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, he's Chinese? Yo, he probably has a coronavirus. Right now, probably. Dude, how many people oh. in China have coronavirus? How many? Dude, I don't know. We can Dude. figure that out. Yo, look it up right now. We got the laptop by our side. We are fact-checking this shit. Yo, <clears throat> only true facts come from us. China's country code, if you do not know, is 86. True facts. I don't even know. What, what facts. That? Oh, wait, is that when you call it, like, try and call someone? Because, like, in the U.S., you do, like, yeah. you're supposed to do, like, one, one whatever your thing hit. is. Because we're number one, America. I don't just think that the U.S. is, like, yeah, we're just... You're looking at the wrong thing. Okay, go back and go to coronavirus uh, live numbers. Go to coronavirus oh, live numbers. Stupid. There's a website I, like I use. I look this up a lot. Yeah, I have a website I go to. <clears throat> coronavirus live numbers. Let's see if that brings it up. Um, first one. First World one. First one. You what? Scroll down. So it says everything with the bar, the, the graphs and everything. Scroll down more. So it says each country that gets more uh, new cases and more deaths in like this website is called worldmeters.info forward slash coronavirus, and. It has everything, every country that's been infected, how many a day they're getting for new cases, how many new people are dying, and everything along those lines. And it has, like, even the Diamond Princess on it, which what that was— What does that was, mean? The Diamond Princess, that was the cruise ship that was in Japan. Oh, okay. That based, this, okay. This cruise ship based, basically became, like, a breeding ground for coronavirus because, like, everyone was so confined. And this one, they found out it spreads by, like, air. So, literally, nothing—like, people were just getting sicker and sicker every day. It, but, do it. but scroll. How many countries are there? It was like fifty six. It do not say. It do not matter. It do not matter. But yeah, eighty thousand people are infected right now in China. Oh, Australia, no. Dude, Ecuador won. Yeah, Ecuador Fuck. just got its first one today, and we're ha we're planning a trip actually to go there Iceland this summer. Iceland won. No. Wait, Iceland. Yo, does Greenland have one yet? Oh, good. Yo, how does Iceland have one already? For a second, I looked and saw Georgia, and I thought I said Google. I was like, what does that mean? Okay, no, Italy right now has 1,100, actually. But they have 29 people who have died, which is actually kind of a lot. Yes, and they're up 239 new cases. In just 24 hours. Yeah. They're fucked. South Korea is also, no, South Korea is even more fucked. Dude, like, they're at 30, yeah, 3,150 cases. One of my professors is actually, he's from South Korea, and he's, like, worried about family and all that shit there. Yeah. I kind of feel bad for him. I don't know if I have family in China or anything, technically. You don't know? I think I do, like, distant. I mean, you're half Chinese. I feel like you'd have to. Well, have... we, we, technically, we do have family in China, but, like, there are people <laughs> that I don't know. Okay, that there you go. I was just saying, what do you mean? Like, it's just your mom just was born Chinese, and that that's good? <laughs> you have yeah, no you history? know, the thing, the thing that's weird is that, like, her mom's white, and, like, her dad's white, too, and they're, like, Irish and English or something, but she's Chinese, so I don't get it. <laughs> Milkman, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to call him. Dude, so we also watched Parasite, too, a couple weeks back. Mm, good thing. Transition Oof. from coronavirus to Parasite movie. But th nothing to do with disease or anything, but Parasite is just about, like, the social, economic, uh, I guess, racism and, like, the differences yeah, the inside South and... Korea. Yeah. it's That movie is amazing. You have to do a lot of reading. There's there's so much symbolism in there and like little hints that you don't notice, I guess, until you like rewatch it or you watch like a breakdown. Exactly. Where's where's Beijing? Beijing uh uh north e northeast, right? I think so. I think it's like Shanghai. Where's Beijing? Oh, Beijing right here. Okay. Yeah, see, I know okay, my I, think... I know my geography. Where's your family from, bro? I think it's north of Hong... Pretty sure it's north of Hong Kong. No, the Parasite like, movie was yeah. just a reference to how coronavirus will be started. Straight up. No, but... So, we made a podcast movie... Or a movie podcast earlier, like, last year. One oh, of our yeah. first movies. Yeah. It's, it was uh, Contagion, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And that recently blew up because that movie, Contagion, like our podcast over that, is literally like the exact same scenario that we are in right now. Because that movie, spoiler well, alert, yeah. uh, cover your ears for spoiler alert for if this movie. If you don't want to ever watch this movie, then you can keep listening. Is In that movie, that disease came from bats and it like transferred from like bad hygiene and move, or bad hygiene inside China. And that's exactly how this case started. Where did this even start off at? Like, I know, like, it starts in Wuhan, but, like, so they figured out the actual source yet? So, inside Wuhan, there's a exotic animal market. Okay. And they are, like, 95% sure it came from bats inside that market. So, someone ate something they shouldn't have. Someone touched something that they, like, maybe they got bit by a bat and they didn't do something right. Like, they don't know exactly how it started, but that's their best guess is it started in the exotic, uh market there and now i think they're gonna try to restrict exotic markets more often yeah but holy shit we're just looking up some stats right now is i know it's like really fatal for older generations yeah well it's just because their immune systems aren't able to fight it off as as well as like anyone who's younger hey zero to nine year olds you guys are looking good just no, fatalities. no fatalities <laughs> wait what's death rate or death rate of all cases or death rate for confirmed cases the fuck does that even I don't know. Mean? Wait, What's... death ray... Da, da, da. Oh, and I heard that males are getting uh, it worse, too. Well, we're fucked. Yo, what the... F- why do why do the males get it worse? I don't know. Because we're out there making money. We're out there doing work. We work we're out there hard. talking. We're working the streets. That's why. But no, the website I was telling you about, worldmeters.info forward slash coronavirus forward slash. It's... It has all the numbers you need. That is actually really up to date. So. It's got some interesting, uh, interesting numbers here, but it's it's all true. If you like look back on everything, it all the numbers they have are correct. So, I feel like that website. I feel like some countries, not gonna lie, are lying about numbers. But. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Because well, there was something, there was something I saw a while ago, and it was, it was probably like a month after like coronavirus was actually like becoming an issue. And they were saying, like, oh, China's only reporting, like, 2,000 confirmed cases when it was close to 24,000. Yeah. And it's like, honestly, there's no benefit at all. To hide the numbers. Yeah, and hiding the numbers because, yeah, like, you can start scaring people, but that also raise awareness. And it's like, well, we got to start taking this seriously. Yeah. Well, something also is, like, right now it says in China there's 80,000 people who have it. That's a flat out fucking lie, I bet. Guaranteed, dude, they at least have like a hundred or two hundred thousand people infected there. Like I think it's dumb. But uh coronavirus is probably the scariest thing of twenty twenty so far, I'd say. The wildfires were kinda scary, but that didn't really affect us, but this can actually affect us. So. Yeah. But bright side, coronavirus, the good thing it's bringing, it actually Already, for sh- having everything shut down there for, like, two weeks now, is it's yeah. released greenhouse gas emissions by 25%. <laughs> like, the wh- of the world. Like, the gas emissions by 25%. That's insane. Well, that kind of just goes to show, like, how how densely populated China is, especially in the cities. And how polluted China is. Yeah. Like, China has single-handedly ruined this fucking world, probably, with Well, pollution. they also turned into... The world's manufacturer, so that's true. they're out there making basically everything. Yeah, literally everything you see. There, well, yeah, there's, Almost there's a very, very good chance that well, in the United States, wise, like yeah. actually a lot of, like not all the countries use China. Like no. the main place that use China are actually primarily like English speaking countries use China yeah. as their sources. Like I was looking at a map actually of that is if you look up a heat map is like United States. Uh, like South Africa, Australia, UK, like all these places are like the highest percentage for things that are made in China. It's kind of weird to think about, but yeah, that I don't know, that's really that's wild. Yeah. But just so you guys know, we're keeping this this episode to be shorter because we have other stuff to do. So we're gonna be doing a shorter episode today. I don't know if like you have any other closing remarks because. I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm 2020 scary. 
Don't be afraid, though. Yo, uh, follow us on YouTube or subscribe to us on YouTube so you can be up to date with our podcasts. So. Yeah. Or follow us on any other platform you're listening to this on, honestly. Like Spotify. Like Spotify. Like, I wish they gave us metrics. Well, I guess they kind of do give us metrics, but like who actually does and doesn't listen to Spotify. That's true. Yeah. It's not as detailed as YouTube. Yeah. I like listening to it on Spotify. Well, it's better. It's easier. Yeah. I and mean, it's just, everything's in one place. Plus, you don't have to have a video going either. So that's always good. Yeah. Oh, we also got a new banner, too, on our YouTube page. So check that Ooh, out. Yeah. It's, Ch- it's pretty nice. Check out the banner. Hit the bell notification. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Yo, drop a comment. Especially you, Thomas. Thomas, drop that comment. Thomas, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to listen to this kid. Thomas, listen to me. You know me. Green team buds. Drop that comment. All right. With all that being said. See ya. Deuces. Thanks for listening. Deuces.